Well, good morning, everybody. It's fantastic to be here with the captain of the Wallabies, James Slipper, and also the captain of the Wallaroos, Shannon Parry. Uh, we certainly welcome them here to Adelaide and South Australia for what is going to be one hell of a show tomorrow afternoon. I think South Australians are, are very much soaking up the pre-game atmosphere in the lead-up to the historic return of the Wallabies back to Adelaide Oval, but also for the first time in the history of our state having the Wallaroos uh, competing against the New Zealand tomorrow afternoon. The weather is going to be spectacular. We know that ticket sales have, are now in excess of expectations with over 34,000 tickets sold. So there's going to be a big crowd and we're going to see some amazing test match rugby right here in Adelaide, which will be a fantastic uh, build up and demonstration of South Australia's enthusiasm for international rugby in the lead up to the World Cup, uh, which of course is not too far away. Um, when we announced the return, uh, when we announced these games coming to Adelaide Oval uh, a few months ago, I mentioned that the last time uh, I was able to see, or anyone was able to see, Test Match Rugby uh, here at Adelaide Oval was back in 2003 with the World Cup. Uh, famously, the Wallabies beat Namibia by, I think, over 140 points to nil. It was um, quite an extraordinary result. If you could just repeat that tomorrow, James, that would be, uh, that would be good. I think we're up. I think I think South Africa. I think the Springboks represent a slightly bigger challenge uh, than what Namibia did back in 2003. Um, but it has been a long time since we've seen Test match rugby here in Adelaide, and I think there are a lot of people in the rugby community, but just as importantly, South Australians who are desperate to see the Wallabies play, putting on a spectacular show in our spectacular venue at Adelaide Oval. But more than that, uh, what we know is that hotel rooms, restaurants and bars are very much looking forward to the patronage of vocal South African supporters, but also Wallaby supporters coming from the rest of the country to Adelaide. And from the state government's perspective, this is what it's all about. Um, we've allocated additional funds to the major events attraction effort here in South Australia, so we can have international sports, we can have high levels of international visitation, coming experiencing venues like Adelaide Oval, our incredible restaurants and hospitality services here in the CBD and, and I think that's something that's worthy of celebration and I think there's a degree of excitement around the place around it. Um, so I'd like to, uh, with both Shannon and James, all the very best tomorrow afternoon. Spectacular weather, big crowd, sensational venue, international rugby, a lot of people coming from interstate and overseas to witness it. Uh, this is a great opportunity for South Australia to showcase just how good a host we can be.